Chapters 26 to 27 of North Lancashire, Cambridge County Geographies by J. E. Marr. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 26 Roll of Honour. Foremost among those who have done honour to their county must be placed the great families of whom individuals have through the centuries been prominent for promoting the welfare and directing the affairs of the county and in many cases rendering important services to the country. It would clearly be impossible in a small work on geography to mention the numerous services of the different individuals of these families, and we must be content to make this general reference. Special mention must however be made of William Cavendish, 7th Duke of Devonshire, 1808 to 1891, to whom the development of Barrow in Furness owes so much. He helped to establish the industries of iron mining and steel production, and was a great breeder of shorthorns, the herd at Holker having had in its time a very wide reputation. The selection of notable men is difficult. No two writers would agree as to the list of worthies to be placed in the role of honour. In three cases, names have been included of men who were not born in the county, for to the geographer the accident of birth is not of so great importance as the selection of the county for residence on account of particular advantages which it may offer or because the district is favourable for the work to be done. We will begin with three ecclesiastics in the order of their birth. Edwin Sands, 1516 to 1588, was probably born at Hawkshead. He became Archbishop of York in 1575 or 1576. He was one of the translators of the Bishop's Bible and founded the Grammar School at Hawkshead. A very different man was William Allen, 1532 to 1594, who was born at Rossall and ultimately became a Cardinal. He was a strong supporter of the Roman Catholic religion and was one of those who urged the King of Spain to invade England. He was also author of many works. Edmund Law, 1703 to 1787, born in the parish of Cartmel, was a writer of many theological works and became Bishop of Carlisle. Lancaster may be proud of having produced three distinguished men of science. William Wewell, 1794 to 1866, a voluminous writer on many subjects, possessed too varied knowledge to show much originality in any one subject. He was master of Trinity College, Cambridge, and his reputation rests chiefly on the influence he exerted upon his university, especially as regards its studies. Sir Richard Owen, 1804 to 1892, was recognised throughout Europe as the first anatomist of his day. He published a vast amount in connection with his subject, much of it being of permanent value. He was also chiefly responsible for the development of the British Museum of Natural History, of which he became director. Sir Edward Frankland, 1825 to 1899, was a distinguished chemist, specially noted for the value of his contributions to organic chemistry. The same town produced Henry Court, 1740 to 1800, whose discoveries, including the substitution of coal for charcoal in converting pig iron into wrought iron, had a most important effect upon the iron trade. Sir Richard Arkwright, 1732 to 1792, was born at Preston. He was an inventor of machinery as a substitute for hand labour in textile manufactures, and his invention, the spinning jenny, is known to everyone. His first machine was set up at Preston, but he afterwards moved into Derbyshire. Sir John Barrow, 1764 to 1848, born at Dragley Beck near Ulverston, may claim to be the founder of the Royal Geographical Society. He was secretary to the Admiralty and is specially noted as a promoter of Arctic exploration. His monument on Hode Hill near Ulverston is a conspicuous landmark. One great artist hails from North Lancashire, namely George Romney, 1734 to 1802. He was born at Beckside near Dalton in Furness, the son of a builder and cabinet maker. In addition to being one of the most distinguished of English portrait painters, he trained others, among whom was James Lonsdale, 
1777 to 1839, born in Lancaster. Of men born elsewhere who had much influence in our area, mention may be made of George Fox, William Wordsworth, and John Ruskin. George Fox, 1624 to 1691, founder of the Society of Friends, was born in Leicestershire, but much of his work was done in North Lancashire. He married Margaret Fell, widow of Thomas Fell of Swarthmore Hall near Ulverston, and spent many years there, building and endowing its meeting house. On several occasions he suffered imprisonment for his zeal, being confined in Lancaster Castle among other places. William Wordsworth, 1770 to 1850, was born in Cumberland, but much of his poetry is descriptive of the hilly district of North Lancashire. Great as a poet, he must also be regarded as one who has claims among the worthies of our county, for the recognition of the Lake District as a place of beauty owes much to his writings. John Ruskin, 1819 to 1900, born in London, author, artist and social reformer, also wrote of the district, which he loved so well that he spent the last years of his life there. He has many references to those Coniston hills, among which nestles Brantwood, and where, in the churchyard of Coniston, his remains now lie. Chapter 27. The Chief Towns and Villages of North Lancashire. The figures in brackets give the population in 1901. A population of about 1,000 is taken as admitting a place into this list though a few urban districts with a greater population but having no large village are omitted, while a few places of small population but presenting features of interest are inserted. The figures at the end of each section are references to the pages in the text. Aldingham, population 1072, a village on the southeast side of the Furness Peninsula, five miles east of Barrow in Furness and four miles south of Ulverston. The church has some Norman arches inside, and its tower is of decorated and perpendicular work. The Moat Hill, possibly the site of a Norman settlement, stands by the seashore, a short distance to the south of the village. The ruins of Gleaston Castle are about two miles west of Aldingham. Barrow in Furness, County Borough, population 57,586. Provisional figures for 1911. 63,775. A county and parliamentary borough and port is situated at the southwestern end of the Furness Peninsula, opposite to Walney Island, onto which it is now extending. Its rise has been very rapid. At the beginning of last century it was non-existent, and on the early ordnance maps the smallest type was used for the name Barrow, indicating that it was then a mere hamlet. In 1837 the population was 100. Its rise was largely due to the 7th Duke of Devonshire. The town occupies a considerable area of the mainland and extends over Old Barrow Island and a part of Walney Island. The regular streets of part of the town arranged in rectangles have been already noticed. The chief industries are the manufacture of iron and steel, shipbuilding, gun mounting, engineering, boiler making, jute spinning and weaving, the manufacture of bricks, the importation of timber, paper making, railway works, cement works, etc. The principal public buildings are the town hall, the municipal buildings, technical school, Barrow Hematite Steel Company's works, started in 1859, and Vickers, Sons and Maxim's works on Walney Island. The first docks were opened in 1867. The docks all communicate with one another and have about 300 acres of water area. The Devonshire and Buckley docks between Old Barrow Island and the mainland are spanned by a high level bridge. Cavendish and Ramsden docks extend southeastward between Barrow and Peel. Furness Abbey is a short distance north of the town and Peel Island with its ruined castle is about four miles away southward. Blackpool, municipal borough, Population 47,348. Provisional figures for 1911, 58,376. A municipal borough and watering place on the coast between the estuaries of the Wyre and Ribble, 18 miles west-northwest of Preston. 
it is the headquarters of a county court district owing to its advantageous position as regards climate and scenery blackpool became a watering place in the early days of resort to the sea more than one hundred years ago it has increased greatly of recent years but large as its population is it forms a very small fraction of the number of visitors who annually flock to the town for the housing and entertaining of these are hotels and lodging houses winter gardens and nearly three miles of promenade pleasure steamers also leave blackpool for various places boltonley sands population nine hundred and two a village four miles north of lancaster close to the shores of morecambe bay the tower of the church is a good example of the perpendicular style the grammar school was founded by thomas ashton in sixteen hundred and nineteen it is now an elementary school broughton west population one thousand one hundred and seventeen a civil parish containing the town of broughton in furness is nine miles northwest of ulverston it has a large market-place with an obelisk of the time of george the third broughton church has a norman doorway the broughton tower a peel tower of uncertain age is built into a modern edifice the town is a convenient starting point from which to view the beautiful scenery of the duddon valley carnforth urban district population three thousand and forty is a township containing the village of the same name situated six and a half miles north of lancaster iron smelting works give employment to many of the inhabitants carnforth is an important railway centre and junction of the north western midland and furness lines the limestone of the neighbourhood is tunnelled by several caverns borwick hall an elizabethan and jacobean mansion lies two miles northeast of carnforth land has been reclaimed in the mouth of the keer and the work of reclamation is still proceeding cartmel see lower allithwaite caton population one thousand one hundred and eighty one a township and village on the left bank of the loon five miles northeast of lancaster roman antiquities have been found here including a milestone the scenery of the loon valley near caton is celebrated and was the subject of a well-known picture by turner colton population one thousand six hundred and forty eight a village situated among the furness fells not far from the foot of coniston lake the parish contains several scattered hamlets colton old hall was formerly the seat of the sands family coniston population one thousand one hundred and eleven a village near the head of coniston lake and at the eastern foot of coniston old man it is an important tourist centre formerly extensive copper mines and some lead mines were worked here and it is still an important centre for slates for which large quarries are opened on coniston old man and in tilberthwaite prehistoric hut circles and other relics are scattered over the moor to the south-west of the village coniston hall one mile from the village by the lake is a fifteenth-century seat of the Flemings, with round chimneys characteristic of the district. John Ruskin lived for many years at Brantwood on the other side of the lake, and is buried in the churchyard. The Ruskin Museum is in the village. Dalton in Furness, urban district, population 13,020. A market town distant nearly five miles southwest of Ulverston in the Furness Iron Ore district, Dalton Castle has been noticed in chapter 22. The town is mainly modern, owing its rise to the iron ore industry. Furness Abbey is within easy reach of this place. Fleetwood, urban district, population 12,082. A parish town, port and watering place at the mouth of the wire on its south side. The docks are extensive and possess a grain elevator. There is an esplanade and electric trams connect Fleetwood with Blackpool. Knot End, a rising watering place on the opposite side of the river, is connected with Fleetwood by a ferry. Steamers leave Fleetwood Harbour for various places. This place is one of the most important fishery ports in England. Rossall School by the coast, about two miles southwest of Fleetwood, is one of the great public schools in Lancashire. It was opened in 1844. Freckleton, population 1,239. 
an ecclesiastical parish township and village near the estuary of the ribble west of preston the neb of knees to the south of the village is believed to be the site of a roman port fullwood population five thousand two hundred and thirty eight is about a mile north of preston of which it is a suburb extensive barracks are erected here garstang population eight hundred and eight a market town nearly half way between preston and lancaster on the wire having a triangular market place with restored market cross at church town south west of garstang is an old church the ruins of greenhalgh castle are close to garstang the garstang town trust still manages the public lighting the town hall and other matters under a charter of charles the second grange over sands urban district population one thousand nine hundred and ninety three situated beneath cliffs on the shores of morecambe bay at the mouth of the kent estuary nine miles east of ulverston is supposed to owe its name to having been a grange of furness abbey owing to its mild climate and sheltered position it has become a favourite watering place halton population eight hundred and ninety a village two and a half miles east north east of lancaster on the right bank of the loon remains of pre-norman crosses are preserved in the church and churchyard a moat hill possibly norman stands close by the village Hawkshead, population 638, a small town near the head of Esthwaite Lake, five miles south-southwest of Ambleside. It possesses picturesque, narrow, crooked streets. The church is a 15th century structure. The grammar school, now closed, was founded by Archbishop Sands in 1585. The poet Wordsworth was educated here. Hawkshead Hall, northwest of the town, was a medieval manor house belonging to Furness Abbey. Haysham, urban district, population 3,693, a village on the west side of the peninsula between the Loon Estuary and Morecambe Bay, on the shores of the bay, about five miles west of Lancaster. The churchyard is a veritable museum of antiquities, especially rich in relics of pre-Norman date. Some of these have been noticed in previous chapters. The village is also a health resort and will no doubt ere long be continuous with Morecambe to the north. The place has recently become important on account of the harbour formed in connection with the steamers of the Midland Railway Company, which run from here to Belfast and Dublin. Kirkby Isleth, population 1,477. A village about five miles north-northwest of Ulverston, the church has a Norman doorway. Kirkby Hall is a 16th century manor house. Large slate quarries in the Silurian rocks occur on the fells above the village. South of Kirkby Isleth is Ascombe, with iron furnaces. Kirkham, urban district, population 3,693. About eight miles west-northwest of Preston in the low grounds of the Lancashire Plain a saxon name derived from the church which was erected before the time of roger of poitou kirkham possesses a grammar school lancaster municipal borough population forty thousand three hundred and twenty nine the ancient capital of the county is situated on the river loon where it becomes tidal its history is a long and varied one it was a roman station and under the normans belonged to roger of poitou who built the castle keep before 1102. Under John of Gaunt, the town prospered, but was ruined during the Wars of the Roses. In the Civil War, many battles took place here. The earliest existing town charter is dated 1193. Notwithstanding the antiquity of the town, there are few ancient buildings in it. Except for the castle and St. Mary's Church, there is nothing left of earlier dates than the 17th century. Many fine modern buildings have, however, been erected, latest and most prominent of which is the Town Hall, of classic design, presented by Lord Ashton, and opened in 1910. The Royal Grammar School was founded in 1472, and is the oldest school in the county. The Storey Institute was founded by Sir Thomas Storey in commemoration of the Jubilee of Queen Victoria. On a height above the town is the Williamson Park. 
Lancaster was formerly a port of some importance, but owing to the changes in the estuary, it has now dwindled. Prominent among the manufactures of the town are those of oilcloth and linoleum. Longridge, urban district, population 3,285, situated at the west end of Longridge Fell, is an interesting hill district. Lower Allithwaite, population 801, includes Cartmel, a small market town two and a half miles west-northwest of Grange. The beautiful Priory Church is noticed in Chapter 21. Several other buildings of interest are in the neighbourhood. Lower Holker, population 1062, two miles southwest of Cartmel. Holker Hall, a seat of the Duke of Devonshire, is a modern building on the east side of the Leven Estuary. Lytham, urban district, population 7185. A watering place on the north side of the estuary of the Ribble, opposite Southport, with the usual seaside attractions. Shrimp fishing is carried on here. Martin, population 1603, two miles southeast of Blackpool. Martin Mere lies east of the village. Morecambe, urban district, population 11,798. A municipal borough and watering place four miles northwest of Lancaster was formerly known as Poulton Le Sands. There are the usual attractions for visitors, many of whom come from Yorkshire, with which Morecambe is connected by Midland Railway. It commands a fine view of the Lake District Hills. Mussels, shrimps and flatfish are taken here. Overton, population 346, a village four miles southwest of Lancaster, on a mound rising from the alluvial flats towards the mouth of the Loon. The church has a Norman doorway. Pennington, population 1510, a village two miles west-southwest of Ulverston. Ancient earthworks exist here. Pilling, population 1407, seven miles west by north from Garstang, situated on low ground near Morecambe Bay. There is a gullery at Pilling Moss. Poulton Le Fylde, urban district, population 2,223, was formerly the chief market town of the Fylde district. Near the old market cross are well-preserved stocks and whipping post. The old tithe barn is in the street of that name. Presall with Hackensall, population 1,423, is in the Fylde. The watering place of Knot End on the estuary of the Wyre opposite Fleetwood is in this parish. Knot End is governed by an urban district council. Salt mining is carried on in the parish. Hackensall Hall was built in 1656. Parox Hall, the residence of the Ellotsons, lies northwest of Presall. Preston, County Borough, population 112,989. Provisional figures for 1911, 117,113. Is built on fairly high ground in the north side of the River Ribble, on the important western highway to the north. It is a county, parliamentary and municipal borough, the chief town of the hundred of Amounderness and of Lancashire north of the Ribble, and an important railway centre. Though the bulk of the buildings are modern, the antiquity of the town is, among other things, shown by the use of the word gate for some of the principal streets. A charter was granted to Preston in 1179. The town is governed by a mayor and 36 councillors, of whom 12 are aldermen. It returns two members to Parliament. In 1307 the town was burnt by Robert Bruce. In the Civil Wars there was a small contest in 1643 and one of greater importance in 1648, when the Royalists were defeated by the Parliamentarians. In 1715 the Pretenders' Party obtained possession of the town, but were compelled to surrender. Preston is one of the chief centres of the cotton trade, which is the principal industry of the town. The first Preston cotton mill was erected in 1777. Richard Arkwright worked in this town. Another industry is cable-making. The port of Preston has modern docks covering 40 acres. 
a franciscan friary stood about half a mile west of the market-place and there was a benedictine monastery at tulketh the fabric of the churches is modern the grammar school is in cross street a fine group of buildings includes the town hall a gothic building by sir gilbert scott on the south side of the market-place and the harris free library and museum to the east of the town hall ribchester population one thousand two hundred and thirty seven situated on the north bank of the ribble eight miles east north east of preston lies at the junction of two roman roads and the site of a roman station is on the banks of the ribble close to the village several old halls are in the neighbourhood on either side of the river at stid half a mile east of ribchester are old almshouses and an interesting little church of the period transitional from norman to early english the roman catholic school of stonyhurst is about four miles east north east of ribchester it is one of the best known roman catholic public schools in the country it was originally founded in fifteen ninety two and was reopened in seventeen ninety four st anne's on sea urban district population six thousand eight hundred and thirty eight a watering place on the north side of the estuary of the ribble west of lytham a lighthouse marks the north shore of the ribble shrimp fishing is carried on here seathwaite with dunnerdale population two hundred and sixty three a hamlet situated amid the beautiful scenery of the duddon valley silverdale population five hundred and eighty two a prettily situated village on a peninsula facing the estuary of the kent it is a summer resort for visitors the scenery of the mountain limestone district around is interesting ulverston urban district population ten thousand and sixty four a market town in the furness peninsula iron smelting is carried on here there is a norman doorway in the parish church the monument to sir j barrow on an adjoining hill is a conspicuous object swarthmore hall lies about one mile south of the town urswick population one thousand one hundred and eighty six three miles south south west of ulverston there are two villages great and little urswick the former built around part of urswick town several antiquities are found in the neighbourhood the grammar school was founded in 1579. It is now an elementary school. Wharton with Lindeth. Population 1,482. Wharton is a village situated under the eastern cliffs of Wharton Crag at the head of Morecambe Bay. The perpendicular church has the shield of the Washington family built into the tower. The first president of the United States was descended from this family, and it is said that the American banner the stars and stripes was derived from the washington arms on wharton crag are many antiquities including the promontory fortress on the summit having its ramparts on the north yeeland conyers population two hundred and sixty seven and yeeland redmain population one hundred and ninety one lie on the east side of a limestone hill two to three miles north of carnforth the villages are among the prettiest in the north of England. End of chapters 26 to 27. End of North Lancashire, Cambridge County Geographies by J. E. Marr. Read by Phil Benson in Sydney, Australia.